Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Today is fixing to be a big day. Huge day, actually. We've got a job in here for Corrales. He needs a boat exploded. We can do that. Absolutely. And we were just also notified by Ren that he needs some stuff exploded as well. He didn't put in a formal request, but you don't need to. He contacted us, so we're going to take care of, I think, both of those things today. I'm very excited. Last episode, we had all this sandstone from blowing up Cubs Place Mountain, and we're not selling any, actually. I put these diamonds in here to make it look like we've made sales, and we're not selling anything. So maybe we'll have a lot of sandstone built up for our own self. Uh, that's okay. So today's going to be action-packed business day, but look at this. This is Shady Ethos, and by the way, him and I have been playing back and forth a little Enrod game. He puts an Enrod in my place, I say, I don't want it, I put it back in his place, I had it up there, and it's gone. So, I look through there, it's not in there, I'm gonna have to find it, but I also want to take a look at this. This is called, I don't know if you can see that, but it's called Shady Ease. This is an Ethos shop again, so that's the ice shop is his, now open, welcome to Shady E Ease. S-E. How cool is that? Let's go in. Should I take my shoes off first? Of course. Canadian custom, isn't it? Okay. The walls are open a little bit and the ceiling's a little bit open. But what do we have here? Welcome to Shady EE's e. subscription store. Ooh. Sign up today with our latest offer to get amazing goods and services delivered regularly to your base. To celebrate our grand opening, we will be holding a limited time one to two week drawing for a lifetime supply of free glass. Name a diamond block as payment with your name. Ooh. Okay. Suzuma Beef False Hypno Cub Example. Well, I'll just rename the example one. Just pranking. I got my own diamonds. I'm a rich boy. Okay, let's do this. And I have no levels. I keep d b exploding all the time. Uh-oh. Hey, Pufferfish. Hi. I get you. I kill, I kill you. I get your XP from you. Uh-oh. Hey. 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 Hey, I wanted... <laughs> Yeah ha ha ha! All this trouble for one XP. There we go, and still not. Okay, we got one level. Goodness sakes! I was, I had, I had my mending stuff on, and I wasn't gaining any levels. Ooh, that looks really cool. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're in. All right, good. Now I've got my level. And I'm going to name this B-dubs. And we're going to put it in. And we're going to be entered into a lifetime supply that is of, of glass. Which will be great. I mean, glass is so annoying to craft. Uh-oh, got a shriek. All right, so we got a good night's sleep in. We got the, the, we're entered into a lifetime supply of glass, which is a very smart move by me. A lot of you guys mentioned also, I, I said last episode, I would really like some dirt. Since I made that request, Star Scar has made this gorgy. Look at this beautiful place. Holy cow. This is his terraforming shop where he sells dirt. Oh, baby. Yes. I'm so excited. I'll make him rich. I'll, I'll buy out the whole thing when needed or when the time comes. And also, Green has this barge over here. And this barge is usually stocked with some goodies from time to time. Gravel, sand. Sure, those are good. Carrots. And somebody might have bought all, out all the dirt. There's the dirt right there. One stack. One diamond for three stacks. Brilliant. So brilliant. <gasps> Coarse dirt as well. Oh, yes. Okay. This is amazing. I, I, I will definitely, uh, when I have inventory space, come out and buy a lot more. Okay. But now off to the base. We got a big project today. So last episode, along with a lot of other things, we made this huge beautiful flower farm and i think it looks really nice unfortunately it was one of those things and i was just waiting for it to happen i did the time lapse and then i accidentally muted the music when i was editing so it was silent <laughs> it was silent time lapse scar has super super fast build mode i have super silent build mode i hate it i did i really messed up but i think it looks nice anyway and uh, hopefully, if we have any time lapses today, we'll have some music included, actually, this time. But the reason we built this is to kind of signify that this is the area where we're going to be storing all of our flower and floral type stuff. Terraforming type stuff, like Scar was kind of stuff that would be based around that. Uh, so we're going to store that around here in this building. We've got another project, another thing that's starting to overflow. 
I learned what a beacon does, guys. Amazing. Isn't that something? Uh, so we do, We got some stone stuff here, but down below there, so much stone. So much stone, and it's very unorganized, and it's driving me crazy. Uh, so down in this ravine, I'm thinking of right there, I need to build a building. It'll be a great place to kind of connect. And maybe I could even put some sort of bubble elevator to where I can transfer the stuff down from the mine up into the building. I mean, <laughs> I'll probably explode myself if I try. But that's something that maybe for down the road. Today, I just want to get the structure in place so we can start storing some stuff. That's on the agenda for today. But I just got a message from the boys. We got to head over. We got to head over to Ren's because... Uh, he's on and he's ready for us to do some work for him. So we're going to do that and um, then maybe later come back and do some building here. I am basically what I want to do, right? I live in this little island. There's like no space for anything. And I want to go down here with my base. Okay. Mm. okay. Um, I got plans to like in here and make cool networks and whatnot, but I, I can't be bothered to dig it out. So yeah, it's fancy maybe blowing it up for me all the way down to bedrock and Ooh, you know, man, throw dude. some diamonds at you. Yes. All the way down to bedrock, huh? Holy cow. What are we at? What are we at here? We're at 47. Oh, okay. Man, okay. <laughs> Do you have a oh, beacon? How... Uh, I don't. No, okay. I don't. Okay, yeah. Um, then you called the right guys. I mean, this is a, we're an honest <laughs> right. company. I wanted to say, yeah. you know, if you had a beacon, you could save some money. But uh, if you don't, this might be the best way to go. I know, I know you have a difficulty mm -hmm. killing withers, right? I do. I don't want to talk to about it. There's a history there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. is. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a little bit more tricky than just going down, though, guys. I can see the dollar signs in your eyes already, but mm -hmm. I'm going to have to test your skills a bit. We also need to go up um, a little bit just to the base of my my base on the surface. Ooh. Oh, okay. precision. Yeah. Okay. Oh, precision blasting is what I require. Not <laughs> okay. Problem. Another job where we have to barely miss somebody's base. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, but pretty important that you don't blow up the base. But I, I, I got trust in you guys, man. Your yeah. last the mountain clearing job went beautifully. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Precision. Yeah. That's our tagline. Yeah. We yep. we we blew, we blew up a mountain directly next to Cubs Pyramid. And didn't right. even touch the pyramid. Didn't even scratch it. Right. So we can not handle this. This is easy. We can do. Beautiful. Well, it's not easy. It's definitely hard. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Very hard. It's going to be yeah. difficult yeah. and expensive. Training, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but we can handle that. Yeah. I'm more than just a shovel boy, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I got I like some it. redstone skills. Look at I this guy. I believe that. I believe that uh -huh. for sure. Yeah, um, I'm excited. Are you guys testing out? the skills on no no don't worry about it don't worry <laughs> oh I'm full confidence this is gonna be just fine ren don't, right. don't worry yes yeah, so it's, it's not, not my first rodeo training. yeah no yeah no. okay right. this is a great time to bring this up actually because yes it is i mean he's a very competent person when it comes to this mm -hmm. sort of stuff but it is his first contraption uh we do have before we proceed we have this waiver uh that just we formalities would... you know nothing nothing to be worried about <laughs> right yeah. okay Honestly, I don't really want to dig, so I'm just going to sign the stupid thing. Good. It's, Thank you. It's, it's yes. glass and TNT, Good. boys. That's so why we're we Okay. Good. 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 <laughs> yes, this is just standard procedure. You know, this is we, okay. we, we have yeah. everybody do this, so it's not a big okay. deal. Don't worry. Well, okay. we Impulse, agreed please. on uh, two stacks of diamonds off camera. Yes, um, we did. I'm, yeah. I'm happy yeah. with that. You know, log sales have been good, so I'm ready to nice. spend some cash. Good. And I don't know what you've done here, Impulse, but yeah. it looks cool. Looks impressive. Yeah. yeah. So you you mentioned that you know you wanted some top part of your base done and all the way down to better. So what I did is I put together a machine that's going to allow us to determine just how far the TNT will drop. So it can be configured basically. I didn't understand any of that, but you know. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. Uh, you're the professional, so make, make it a boom boom. Yeah. All you have yeah, to do, do is thing. press the button. Do you want to press it, Ren? Do you want to do the honor since you're here? Yeah. Can I press it? Yes, you can, you can press it. Sure, sure. Okay. See it over there. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, there we go. Oh, geez. Don't worry. There oh, it goes. Oh, oh, Beautiful. Oh. Look at that. There we go. Impulse. See? Okay. You're more than just a shovel. Yay! <laughs> um, that is perfect, boys. Yeah. So all we got to do now is get rid of the water, and this right. thing is going to dig all the way down to bedrock. That's it. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew I chose the right man for the job. This is this is amazing, dudes. Thanks. Take my money. 
can we start blowing some more stuff up now? I got rid of those water yeah. sources for you down there. So um, <laughs> it's the real deal yeah. now, man. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. All right, let's see it. Let's okay. see it. Press the button. Okay, we hit the button. We hit the button. We don't panic. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, Everything is fine. Terrifying. Oh, yeah. Oh, Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, man, that went, that went so far down. That went so far down. In fact, you said you wanted to go down like to bedrock, right? So if yeah, you yeah, yeah. That, we want to go to bedro just, bedrock yeah, and take, up take, toward the base. Take some too. items out of the hopper. Just take some items out and then they would let it drop oh. down even further and then we're good to go. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so the items you in the hopper. Like variable the, system. The thing? This is yeah, impulse. Variable, this is high system. tech impulse. I yeah, like it. Yeah, just take the items out of the down. So further. brilliant. Okay, there. And then I hit the button again. Yes. And then you just hit the button again. Hit the button. Hit the button. Here they go. Wait a minute. Oh, we're gonna have a hard time getting I work. Put some items in and and I, oh, in. you put Please. items in? No, I said take them out. Whoops. Well, boys, that didn't quite Ooh. go as expected. Ah. Uh, no. Uh, no. Yeah. No. No. yeah. I'm not sure what happened there, Ren. Did um, did you actually? add items to the hopper instead of taking them out like i said yeah guys this was 100 percent my fault uh, i was so excited i i was taking items out and i put items <sighs> in and was, i just i panicked oh no don't blame there yourself excitement yeah, yeah it's okay tnt it's okay. is exciting business yeah. it's exciting business this is um and and you know it was variable like we said but um yeah, yeah variable, variable the other way apparently yeah, yeah. <laughs> right this has been yeah. uh, honestly a great lesson for us if anything you've given us something because we've learned we should not let the customers uh run the, yes. right? the machinery it's very the heavy machinery. Right. yeah yes yeah. yeah, and I kind of insisted on it too, so... Yeah. yeah. Just, no, tell your moment. customers no. Don't touch. Yeah, don't touch. Don't <laughs> touch. This is great. So, but, so in thanks to you for teaching us this lesson, I want to give you one free... Sorry, it's at your Ooh. feet. One free uh, coop voucher for a free boomer job at any, any time. And you won't one have to touch boomer? a thing. You won't have to touch a thing, yeah. Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm down with that, guys. I mean... Uh, I'm still taking a bit of time to process the fact that I now don't have a base anymore. But right. mm, yeah, yeah. You know, from the from the ashes shall I rise like a phoenix? Yes, you or will. Something. Oh, okay. <laughs> good, good luck with your grieving process. Thank Sorry. you for okay. choosing boomers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Hey, great lesson learned. Our first job with Boomers was great, with Cub. We had a wonderful job, and we didn't destroy anything. Uh, lesson learned, do not allow the customer to control the machinery. Am I right? Lesson learned. That'll never happen again. Oh, my goodness. What a scary. That was a scary. But in the meantime, just as I'm kind of th thinking through the process, I've been collecting materials for, remember, we said we're going to build something right here. It's huge. It's going to be big. I've been collecting, collecting, collecting. I was about ready to get started building. Look at all this. I mean, four stacks of fences, acacia trap doors. How many times have you had a build that needs over a stack and a half of acacia trap doors? It's a big one, but it's going to be good. I'm excited for it. Unfortunately, I was going to wanted to start building, but uh, Corrales is ready. Corrales is ready for us to do some exploding for his ship, and I've got some ideas. I want to, really, between you and me, I'd like to kind of take this on, because it's not a huge job, and I think that it's something that I could handle, so I'm going to try to weasel my way in and see if I can't, you know, I don't know, maybe I could, they'd let me hold the reins on this one just a little bit. Okay, off to Corrales. First of all, welcome to the premises of Corrales Logistics, Corrales Constructions, and the Port of Corrales. Amazing. But, uh, <laughs> Holy cow. But, but gentlemen, this is this is first of all, this is strictly business, all right? Yes. Uh, I have I have a, a problem okay. in, in the ports. And okay. it is costing me a little bit of money. That uh, there's a ship, uh, a historical shipwreck. It needs to go boom, like a lot of boom, like a big boom, okay? Yeah. Okay. Boom, 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 and that, a boom. Yeah, that's what, that's we, what we do. do. Yeah, mm -hmm. specialize in those sort of things. That yeah. is that, that is not the only problem. Okay. 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 So my neighbor, vintage mm -hmm. kebab. Okay, he has this thing. Uh, he has like planned tours, uh, like tourist tours to that uh -huh. shipwreck. Uh -huh. And can we see 
can we make it seem like an accident or of some type? Like just oh. go ba boom and it wasn't me? We can do this under one condition. I don't think that you're planning on saying, hey, the boomers came over, because I don't think he's going to see us from where he's at. The boomers came mm -mm. over and blew up this historical. No, if no, he no, asks no, no, no. you, you just say, I don't know. Right? Something happened. Something happened. Yeah. It's a lightning strike. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something yeah. happened. Like that. It is a wooden ship, right? Yes. Boom, boom, lightning. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. These things happen, man. Mm. Sure. It's part of the game. Yeah. Okay. I like I love, that. I love can we that. can we look at the site to see what we're dealing with? Oh, yeah. this doesn't fit like, at all. Like just, hands down, it's all about business. And yeah. Making the mojo in a big way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I mean, you're blocking the entrance. Beef over uh -huh. is right over there. Look at him. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And he's bringing <laughs> tourists over to look at this shit. Uh -huh. mm. well, that is the plan, mm. and I can't allow that. I personally, I feel like I've got a good idea. I'd like to headline this one. I, I, I have some uh, contraptions ooh. that I think could take care of this. No problem. I thought maybe. Uh, okay. Uh. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh. Yes, I'm sure. Of course. Sure? Oh, I no. mean, uh. with, with a real <gasps> customer. And... Yes, this is a real customer. I can do this. You ever heard of osmosis uh. before? Listen, Corrales, uh. I've been around these guys. I've seen their contraptions. It's easy. This whole TNT <laughs> thing is simple. I can do this. I can. I can. My palms are sweaty. This, no. Uh, okay. No. 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 Um, no. No. Say yes. Say yes. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Yeah. Okay. If, Maybe. Uh, how about this, guys? And, and uh -huh. you're uh -huh. gonna have to bear okay. with me on this. But supervise. supervise. Normally, normally, no, don't. I don't need supervision. Oh. I normally <laughs> we I would we okay. would charge a stack of diamonds for this job, right? Okay. That that seems right. like that'd be reasonable because yeah. it's not Nothing huge. Going, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. If you let me do this, we'll do it for 33 diamonds. We split it three ways, 11 diamonds each, uh -huh. guys. And like you just that. sit there, okay? The Corrales, you get 50% off. You guys get the diamonds and get to w watch the show. Oh, dear lordy. Uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Corrales, <laughs> come on. Big discount. Uh, uh, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I guess. Okay. Okay. I got. I'm gonna put on a show. You're gonna what love this. Wrong? Help yeah. Me. <laughs> Everything's gonna hey, be man. fine. I'm oh, sure. Yeah. I'll get oh, to building. Okay. Looks great. Thank you so yeah. much. So the idea, when it, you know how entities can be moved, Tango, you've been doing your your uh, anvils I'm, I'm floating aware. around uh -huh. and, and bing bong, yep. bing bing bong. That's been big on the Reddit lately, Corrales. Um, so. Uh -huh. Once we light this TNT, it turns into an entity. I'm going to piston it up, and this piston will fire and launch it over. It's a simple, simple system. So take notes so, on so this. So you're going to launch toward his base, right? Just no, to towards the boat. Not, not towards the base. It's fine. I've got the range calculated. This is the perfect distance away. Impulse, are we safe over here? Are we safe I over don't here? know if we're safe anywhere on the server right now with me. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay. Very freaking funny. This is a manually <laughs> controlled system, and it's variable, and it's perfect. And watch this. Fire when ready. Off Ooh. it goes. Uh-oh. Oops, there. <laughs> I don't think it went where you wanted it to. <laughs> Might want to check the redstone. Uh, give me another shot. I can do this. Okay, just one, man. Hey, just one. No damage done. No damage done to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll check in and see how he's doing. Yeah, we'll supervise this one. Okay, Corrales, I this I this is not Okay, I hear you sighing. Uh-huh. I started to make a boat and then the guys what had to happened? come in. They came in and they said, "Oh, I, not like that. What about like this?" And this freaking uh, distracted me and messed it up. So I had it was going to be a gorgeous, beautiful cannon boat that was going to do great, but because of the lack of faith, now we have this. And I bet you it's like, not even going to work good. It's, it's I got one man. question for you, man. Who, who are you going to hire to blow up that boat? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is ridiculous. My money is just that it's going to blow itself up. Okay. Now, this is far more powerful than I was Count anticipating. Down. Okay. And here we go. A three, two, one. Here, oh, off we gosh. go. Oh. Yes. Perfect. Whoa. There it is. Oh. Look at it. See? See? Nailed See? it. I had, I, mine was time to blow up right at the boat. You guys are the worst. Stop laughing at me. The boat 
still standing perfect on a boat. That's a pretty strong up. boat. <laughs> All right. How, how do you how do you redeem yourself from this? We recalibrate. <laughs> yeah, we recalibrate. Yeah. Usually, here's an easy trick. Here's something that we that we, this is this is an old school trick we we did we learned back in the day where we just kind of go like this, in a day. Okay. like this, yeah. like yeah. that. You make a shelf. Yeah. Just, this is yeah, called a shelf. This is shelving. That's called shelving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's take number two, and uh, this <laughs> this would sure this is yeah this is actually take three, but this you, should catch that shelf. Yeah. And uh, off we go. Did you prime it? I okay. prime. Here, Here we go. go. And oh, perfect. There we go. There we go. And that's going to do it. it. Bang. Yeah. You guys, mm. you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> one more button push. I think okay, we'll do one it. more. One I more. I got faith. Ooh, I tango. got faith. Tango, one, it's two. Tango. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. This now looks good. Boat. There we go. Send me back to destroy that other thing. That Ooh, thing? That's, that's another 33 yeah. diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And we'll huh. probably need to make another barge to blow that one up. <laughs> yeah, we'll make <laughs> another <laughs> barge over here and blow yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> we can keep doing this as long as you want. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I keep it. I keep it. Uh. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. You give us give us just a little bit of time. You want it to look like an accident, we can make it look like an accident. He'll have yeah. no idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we got Corrales' job done. I could have done that. I could have done that, and I had a great plan for a really beautiful boat that we were going to put in there, and it had two cannons that would have done an even better job than that monstrosity. I would have, Guys, trust me, I would have done great. But, hey, two jobs completed. Well... Kind of today, but that's great. Uh, now it's time. I mean, it's been a busy day. We have a lot of lot of work to do. But now, finally, we're gonna do this. I think at some point we're gonna beautify this ravine. We're gonna do this real pretty. But I don't know a whole lot we can do. Ravines actually, the way they're created is from streams kind of running through, and we kind of have that here. So it's a little awkward. Like, why would the, we could build maybe a little dam here? It's like forced the stream to go around and this was all eroded through time. I don't know. Eventually, we'll kind of pretty this ravine up. But for right now, we're going to have the building kind of go right here and maybe extend all the way down there. I think that would be really, really cool. But anyway, it's time for B-dubs to start building. Hopefully not a silent time lapse this time. Yes. Okay, that is looking pretty cool. I like it. This is a very square shape. You know, we have a similar color palette to that place, but I think it looks good. The main thing is like a square, and then we got a little tower there, a little jut out there. There's now some things that I want to add to this to make it interesting. You see, I've got like some poles here. These are kind of just as I was building, I was leaving some reminders for myself of some things I want to do. I want to to get this make make this look interesting. I want to use some green wool and lime green terracotta to kind of make like these it's going to be a hard thing to pull off. But I want to make kind of some overhangs that look like leather or cloth that kind of hang in some areas. I think that would look really really cool. On this tower I want to have some lifts, like something that's going way down to be lifting up some stone. So I got some things there, maybe one even on the river side. Now this backside is very, woo, -hoo -ya, woo -hoo. this backside is very plain. I left a little something as a reminder right there that we're going to, you guys have been saying this for a long time since you saw the river, put a water wheel in. So I'm going to get a water wheel in here, but this is very uh, kind of a dead space. So I'm going to put some gears. Like some exposed gears that look like they're kind of turning the water wheel. I think that would be really cool. Oh, my throat made of sound. 
And then over on this side to help it look a little more industrial so it doesn't just look like a house, I want to add like some uh, almost like scaffolding with some back and forth stairways going down. I think it's going to look really cool. But that's the detail part. There's one other very big detail that I want to add to kind of really set this building off. Let's see if I can show you from up here. So right here, I've got kind of an opening in the, in the roof of the thing. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want to put a huge saw blade. A big, huge saw blade. Because a stone cutter, that's related to the stone in the game, right? So I think a big, huge saw blade right there. It would kind of, you know, it's a little cartoony. It's a little fantasy. But I think it'll kind of signify that, hey, this is the building where the stone stuff is being done. There's not a whole lot more that sells that. I was thinking I could put some stone storage over here or something like that, kind of visually. But a big saw blade... I think that'll really sell it. So anyway, it's detail time. Time to get some real fun things added to the building to make it really look nice. Hi, Horsey. I'm not going to borrow you. I'm going to borrow another one. Oh, yes. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Etho has brought the end rod back. Okay. <laughs> we got to give that back to him. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. We're going to take a Horsey. Oops. Sorry. Not like that. Like this. There we go. Hop on. And out we go. It's done. We've completed, look at it from a distance first, and this is how we really enjoy it, but there's a lot of things that have evolved, guys. Let me show you, numero uno, there's a door missing here. Some of you know what that means. Look at that beauty! You, you see the saw off the side, and the little, this one looks like it's kind of hanging a little bit. Oh, baby, let's keep going. Oh, I love it. Door missing there. Doors missing there, plus some signs that we will need to go read. Doors missing here. The door thief, Grian, has stopped by. But before we, re we, we read that and check that out, there's another door missing on the back. Uh, but let's take a look at this finished product. Unfortunately, I didn't get the... Hoshi, calm down. Unfortunately, we didn't get all the chests and stuff cleaned up. Uh, that's that going to be actually a... Fairly big project. There's a lot of materials there to move in. Uh, but, oh, man. Doesn't this look nice? I love this. I love it so much. This is a, this was a huge build. This is a humongous, huge, huge build, and it's not even close to done. We have only finished the exterior. The interior is not even near finished. We got to finish the road that connects up over here and all that stuff. But there she blows. I love that. The saw turned out really cool. It is hard. You know, I tried a lot of different designs, but I think that's the best. These uh, kind of uh, awnings hanging over, one hanging over up there, one hanging here, and then one way on the other side over here. I think it looks good. And this whole thing, you know, we got to implement some acacia trap doors. If I can use a material that I don't usually use, I'm going to take advantage of that. And I think those actually look good. They almost look like rusted material. On there. So I like it. And then we've got our, our gears and our big water wheel right here, which is really cool. We can do some things. I know, I know you guys are going to want me to put some water in there. The thing is, it's so intricate that... Ooh, floating block. Goodbye. It's so intricate, and now we can waterlog stuff that it's kind of hard. It's a little bit difficult to get the 
water in there without it making a big mess of things. So maybe not. I might just put some cobwebs down here to kind of give it that look. Or There's some things I can do. Uh, but overall, she's a beaut. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really nice. And then we've got this thing here that's uh, kind of dangling down into the lower part. And then this tower continues all the way down to the very bottom. I think it looks awesome. Me? I'm happy with it. I think it's great. They just got to connect it and get the paths done and then do the interior, which is going to be tough. But as we look right through our entire house, because our doors are missing, we have some signs here. Hi, I'm planning on making a town hall for the shopping district to, to promote the need for a new mayor. Hashtag organize the shopping district. I need some builder help. Would you be interested? P.S. Someone stole your doors. Not sure who. I know who. Green, don't try to act like it's not you. It's you. He even took my kitchen door. <laughs> but this is exciting. I'm very excited for this because um, I've heard rumor. Oh, I still have this one. Awesome. <laughs> I've heard that he also invited Scar, which has got my building. I'm just tickling, guys. I'm super tickled. I <laughs> Me, Scar, and Green, Scar, Green, and myself are going to build a town hall together. Oh, yeah, that's going to be amazing. I'm super excited for that. If you don't know, Scar is an amazing builder. Green himself, an amazing builder. A uh, lot of great builders on the server, of course, but uh, I think this is going to be a really fun trio. So next episode, I think we're going to do that. Doesn't that sound nice? I'd love to help. Oh, I'm so excited. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Hermitcraft. We got a lot done today. We got two boomer jobs done. We got the stone storage building completed and a whole lot more. If you'd leave a like on this episode for me, I'd very much appreciate it. I love you guys to death and we'll see you all in the next episode.